so I wanted to, <clears throat> I need to, I need to give some some thoughts on this, man, because people are hating. People are hating, and I think people don't like what is happening. The youth are taking over. The cushy, kind of comfortable position that places like the BBC, Sky, Talk Sports were in is now being threatened by guys like me, guys like Terry, guys like um, Nini FC, guys like Robbie, Arsenal Fan TV, 100% Chelsea, and so forth. They've been threatened. They've been threatened. You know, Coppish, all these guys, you know, all these guys were, were coming through. We're coming through and we're trying to say what's up. What, 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 what I'm trying to say what's up. So I saw a clip that um, Simon Jordan put up about him debating Robbie because he feels that Arsenal Fan TV is problematic and it is and it is promoting toxicity based on the kind of toxic nature of Arsenal Fan TV. Where like you know only whenever Arsenal lose, people go towards Arsenal Fan TV and then they then you know and it's giving like Arsenal Football Club a bad name, giving football fans a bad name. And somehow Robbie is to blame for that. Somehow Robbie is promoting this toxicity and he's profiting off of it. Robbie came up with a great idea. It is what it is. Robbie came up with a great idea and it was just an amazing idea that, that nobody really ever thought of. Because people sort of did it in films with regards to, um, okay, so as soon as somebody watches a film from the cinema, you just put a mic in their face. Okay, what did you think about the film? But nobody ever brought that into football. Similar to what I, I said to myself, was, oh, wait, nobody ever does previews or reviews of like the major games for Bayern Munich events and anything. So I was like, wait, let me... Let me let me get in there. So nobody ever really said as soon as fans watch, you know, as soon as they come out out of the stadium, put the mic in the, in their face. What? How do you feel? You just watched the game. How do you feel? And Robbie puts the mic into any fan that wants to talk. It isn't Robbie's fault that um, DT trends, that troops trends. It's not his fault that they trend. Or that guy Chris. It's not, it's not his. It's false that they trend. So, but, I mean, they trend because we, just like the news and so forth, we are attracted to negativity. We are attracted to stuff that is edgier, that is darker, that is much more vicious. That's just how we are human beings and social society. So we are, we are drawn more towards that. So we don't want to just see like a tie. Like tie is never going to trend. Tie is actually one of my favorite guys that he, he interviews because I just <laughs> admire just how positive he is. But tie will never trend. But DT will and troops will based on just their characters, what they say. And because, because it is negative, negativity always will always trend. Look at the news. Positive stories don't, don't, don't trend. Negative stories trend. That's, that's how it is. So how is Robbie to blame for that? How is that Robbie's fault? How is Robbie promoting any kind of negativity? And I think, you know, what is happening is people, especially when Sky, you know, BBC, even Simon Jordan, they're not happy in that. I'm going to say, they're not happy that a, that a brother's getting that cash. That's what I said. You know, because for me, I am slightly biased here because I am personally, personally proud that a black guy runs the most popular football channel online. It is the most, for Arsenal Fan TV, it is the most popular, most talked about, most influential football fan channel online. 100% it is, you know, and that is through Robbie, like his genius, amazing idea and his execution of the idea and getting the right people around to execute it. And it's just going to keep on growing and it's going to keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think what people have to accept and realize is that football analysis is changing. It is changing. Like for me, what I realize is that, you know, um, the youth... The youth are the future. I'm not the future. It's the people who are 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 22, 24. These guys are the future. So before I say, oh, look, you're young because you don't know anything. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Don't disrespect the youth. These are the guys that consume fully. And these are the guys that aren't watching BBC. Aren't watching Sky Sports. They're watching YouTube. So these young, younger people, they're not going to sit down and, and listen to a bunch of 40-year-old, 50-year-old men talk about football because they're not excited about that. They're going to listen to the guys who are closer to them, to themselves in age, who talk like they do, who feel like they do, who have the same passion that they do. So gone are the days where, as a fan, and I have to sit down and look at, and, and look at some 40-year-old guys in a suit in a studio just bomb me, flipping bomb me. Right now, what we now have through the beauty of YouTube, I know that they're, they're, they're going to try, try and control YouTube, but through the beauty of YouTube, we now have, oh my gosh, yeah, I know a guy like DT. 
I know a guy like like troops. I know a guy like Ty. I know a guy like Cam Chris. I know these kinds of of of, of people, and even with the influences, I I can connect with them. And it is changing. It is changing, and I think as a company or whatsoever, you have to just accept the the, the change. And either you're going to be part of that change, or you're going to be left behind. You know. And I think with these fan channels, you can't stop what is happening because the people at large they demand it. And even if they try to for YouTube are trying to force us this thing, trust me. The worst thing you can do is try to force people to view things. That's what they've been trying to do with, with programs, specifically in the UK. Because I'm, I'm looking at that very carefully as, as to how they're taking away all of the edgier, younger, much more um, controversial kinds of programming. And they're just giving you the same crappy, stupid programming to try to program you into the crap that they want you to accept. But it ain't happening, baby. It ain't happening. Stuff is changing. Stuff will, will, will change. And I think... Just back to the original point here. Don't hate on, on Robin. I don't understand what he's doing that is wrong. Because at the end of the day, he's just in this amazing, fortunate position that it's a win-win situation. If Arsenal win, he's happy because he's an, he's an Arsenal fan. If Arsenal lose, he's happy as well because he gets all these massive amounts of views. Is that bad? Because at the end of the day, because as he said, win, draw or lose, he's going to interview people. If Arsenal win and everything, he's going to put the mic at everyone's face and they're going to be happy. If they lose, so it would only be wrong if you only put the mic in people's faces when Arsenal lose. It would only be wrong if you only put the mic in the face of DT and troops. But no, win, draw, lose, you, you want to say something? Come along and, 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 and talk. It ends my fault that what people are drawn more towards is DT and Truth when Arsenal lose. That's not Robbie's fault. He's just created a scenario where that has happened. And now he is profiting off of it, rightfully so, because he built this thing, he created this thing, and he deserves every single penny from it. So I'm sorry, guys. People that have an issue with that, you're haters because you're not in that position. Because if you were in the same position, you would do the same damn thing. And trust me, Simon, I know you like money because you're a guy that, that came from wealth. If you were in Robbie's position, you would be doing the same thing and, and, and seeing the same things as Robbie. You're just jealous and envious that he is. He has created a quality, amazing business model in the most earnest way possible. Because as I said again, unless you can tell me, there's nothing wrong with what he's doing. Remember to like the vid. Remember to subscribe as well. Peace out. Stay true. And remember to hit that website, halfupfootballhot.com. Links below in the description box. I'm out.